Okay, so we've got this area set up to start to add detail to the back. What I need to do is I'm going to, instead of creating headphone jacks from scratch, which uh, would be a huge waste of time, same thing for the USB ports. Since I've already created that in a previous video, why not just rip off of that and just recycle and reuse that to save myself time and energy. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take all this stuff here in my uh, Explorer view that's hidden. I'm going to unhide it. So I'm going to pop into view over here. Okay. Uh, probably would be a good idea to rename some of this stuff. So what I'm going to do is select the front panel, hit enter to open up its PPG. I'm just going to call that front panel real quick. Just makes it easier to identify things over here in the Explorer view. I'm going to take this guy here and I'm going to call this button large. Take the little one. I'm going to call that button small. And what is this part over here? This is the left half of the model, so I'm going to call this left body. I'm going to take the right half and call that right body. Being organized is so important when you're working in any 3D software. Okay, what I'm going to do now is let me take the body pieces since I don't need them. I'm going to hide them. I'm going to come in here to the front panel. And I'm going to take some polygons here. Basically, these polygons on the inside of the headphone jack. And I'm going to grow my selection a few times. And if you remember, right click and then go to grow selection. Shortcut is shift and the equal sign. Okay, so once I have these polygons selected, I'm going to right click and go to extract polygons, but I want to keep. I don't want to delete because I want to keep the original polygons and uh, not mess them up or anything like that. So I'm going to move this back over here. Now I'm going to rip off the uh, USB port. So let me see over here. I'm going to take this polygon right here. I'm going to grow that a couple of times. I'm going to come over here to my MCP under the select rollout. I'm going to click on this little black arrow and go to Polygon Island. Hold down Shift and select those two Polygon Islands there. Right click. Go to my context menu. Go to Extract Polygons and Keep to keep the original. Move that to the back. And then we also have the Firewire uh, port that we need to rip off as well. So I'm going to select the back Polygon there and grow the selection a couple of times. Again, come over here to Polygon Island select all those uh, polygons there and I'm going to extract polygons and keep again one last time pull that back don't really need to have this visible I'm going to select everything freeze modeling just to keep it clean I'm going to take the uh, front panel here with these uh, buttons I'm going to hit H to hide it and I should have this so I'm going to take all of these little parts here I'm going to rotate them 180 degrees so that they're facing this way toward the back which makes sense and I'm gonna kinda roughly place them like this maybe move them out of the way a little bit let me work with the headphone jack uh, first so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the headphone jack hold down alt so that I can snap the pivot point to that top vertex right there make sure your vertex snapping is turned on hold down control and just snap that to a corner vertex on uh, one of these polygons here see these six polygons that's where we're gonna go so let me take the headphone jack here let me go to my back view what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna uh, try to place this visually here just to go faster right about there is pretty good okay now we need to make this match to make it match is uh, pretty simple but uh, what I'm gonna do is turn on the tweak tool I'm going to turn off the welding here. I don't want that welding turned on for the moment. I'm going to hold down control with my vertex snapping turned on. And I'm just going to snap that there, snap that there, snap that there, and snap that there. Very easy to do. And that is pretty much done right there. It's set up and ready to go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the rear panel over here. Go to polygon mode. And I'm going to take all six of those polygons. And I'm going to delete them. And I'm going to take this guy here. And I'm going to make a duplicate by hitting Control D, D for duplicate on the keyboard. I'm going to move this guy over, snap the uh, pivot point up there, snap it there, hit Control D again. And when I do that, SoftImage automatically knows what I'm trying to do, so it moves this over, it offsets it to the right, and places it perfectly. If that didn't happen to you for whatever reason, just go ahead and use the same snapping uh, technique to get that 
to go on there correctly. So I'm going to select all three of these headphone jacks because we know we need three more in the bottom. Control D to duplicate this. Snap the pivot point using the Alt key right there to the corner. Then use Control to snap to that vertex there in the corner and boom, there you go. That's done. So now what I need to do is merge all this stuff. So I'll select all six of the headphone jacks and the rear panel. Hold down the Alt key and right click to open up this special context menu. Go down to the merge option. And when you do that, it makes a mess. Let me hit the hide, unhide button over here in the PPG. You can see it made a mess of everything. That's because my tolerance for welding is turned on. Let me go all the way to zero to turn it off. We can see we have blue edges, which means that there's areas that are open and not welded. That's not good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to very slightly increase the tolerance a very small amount. And as soon as I do that, all the blue edges should disappear and I should have all white edges, which is good. Okay. Once I get that done, I'm going to hit delete to delete the original object that I hid earlier. And that's it. I'm going to freeze modeling on that to uh, keep it clean. And now it's the same process for the uh, USB port. So I'm going to take the USB port. I'm going to snap the temporary pivot point to this vertex up here in the corner. Then I'm going to hold down control and snap that down there like this. Very easy to do once you get the hang of it. And over here what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the USB port. I'm just going to move it to the left a little bit, something like this. And that's pretty tight right there. And I might not like that too much, but you know what? I'm going to keep it like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to probably just scale this down a little bit. Just a bit like this, just to, for the sake of making it fit a little bit better. Okay, now if I go to my back view over here, I can see what I have. This is where it's positioned. That's a pretty good spot for it. Um, I like where it's positioned. So once that's positioned, all I need to do is use the tweak tool again and use the control key to snap all of this stuff right here, basically to the hole. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these polygons here and I'm going to hit delete to get rid of that. Oh, and also this one right there. That way I can see my actual USB port. I'm going to take this USB port. I'm going to make a duplicate of it, just like before. Alt and snap right there. Then control and snap right there. Should end up with something like this. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make some duplicates and fill in this area right here. But since it's the same redundant process over and over again, I'm just going to skip ahead and get that done. So go ahead and do that on your own. Just make duplicates of these and place them down here. Okay. I also have to do a little bit of tweaking down here with the tweak tool. I have to make the uh, vertices match down there. Now I have two more down here. So what I'm going to do is I'll probably just delete these two polygons since we don't need them. I'm going to take USB port here. Actually, I'll just take both of them and just duplicate these two. They should fit perfectly. Just snapping that right there. Looks like we have to tweak some of this stuff. Yeah, it looks like we have to tweak a little bit of this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now real quick. Just going to tweak this snap it up here there we go that's done okay now when I make all the USB ports fit what I can do is I can merge everything so I can take all four or six of these guys take this guy alt right click go to merge I'm gonna hide take the tolerance down bring it up just a little bit to make those blue edges disappear then I'll hit delete and last but not least is the firewire port which is gonna go about right here let me just look at my image here to verify Yep, it's going to go right here in that polygon. Okay, so that empty little polygon is going to get filled in right now. So I'll snap that there, then snap it there, so we end up with something like this. Then I'm just going to move this like so. Maybe I'll scale it down a little bit, just so it fits a little bit better. Right there is pretty good. I'm going to take this guy and delete that polygon since we don't need it. Then I'm going to take this guy, use the tweak tool, snap this stuff so that it fits perfectly in the hole. There we go. Perfect. Now next thing to do is just merge all this stuff together. So I'll merge this. Again I'll hit hide. Control this tolerance uh, parameter. Get rid of the blue edges. Hit delete. There we go. Freeze modeling on that. Okay. And that's pretty much done. So we recycled the headphone jacks, the USB ports, and the firewire port to get this done quick and easy. 
Right, so that's going to do it for this video, and the next one we'll just continue to chip away and work on more details.